I'm Dave. I'm Stevie. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects Wednesday Special. So then, guys, as my dad said, welcome to another weekly Wednesday episode. And today we are doing a drop crossing. Something a little bit different for you guys. And yes, it's cold. You can see the breath coming out of my mouth. It's a cold one today. It's like one degree. Very, very cold. Not as warm as it is in Australia. As always, if we could like this video, it really helps the channel. And if you're brand new around here, consider subscribing because we're so close to 40,000 subscribers. And we just want to say a massive, massive thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed, support the channel, like the videos and watch a single second of us. Very much appreciate it. We'll aim for 3,500 likes on this video. If we can do that, wicked. And as you can see, we are on the grab. Jordan's just taking down the side now because we're going to put them on the grab. We're going to put that on the grab. And this is all the tarmac, can you see? Drop crossing. You have to take quite a lot of stuff for the drop crossing. Bear in mind, we've got no tarmac on here yet, so it's going to be tarmac on here as well. First things first that you've got to do, you've got to break out the old crossing because it's going to have raised curbs. We've got the droppers and the slow part right there. So I've just got to get the forklift outside to get that stuff on the back. So we've got the forklift ready, guys. We've already got the signs on now for the road, and now it's time for the big boy roller. And there she is, sitting pretty. Time for this. Jordan's driving the grab. Jordan's uh, chauffeuring is about today. I can't remember the last time I drove Big Red, but uh, it's a blessing having Jordan here. Whilst he's doing the grabs, me and dad can do all the stuff. That's helping us out a lot. And we're off to the drop crossing, so let's get there. You used to stop this world from spinning. Like Superman, you were the only one to find the strength in all that I was dealing with this life like kryptonite. So then guys, we have arrived. Arrived to do this little bit of drop crossing because they've had the drive done now. Looking not too shabby, you agree? very very nice and the first thing you do on any drop crossing you start setting out your cones and your signs it's very very important that you let people know what you are up to set them out at the right distance that's also an important part of the job as you can now see guys we've got signs we've got cones you've got one there and then a little bit further back up there got one right there as well guys make sure you get your signs out i think the first thing we're going to do as well is get that roller off the grab and just get that down here somewhere out of the way. And the drop crossing that we're doing, I believe, that's obviously staying. And then it'll be one flat, two flat, three flat, four flat, one slow pot right there. So this will extend this driveway for the crossing quite nicely. Because they've had it all the way over there, you see. So may as well cross in all the way up there. It's going to look very nice. And it'll be a lot easier for this customer. There she goes. All the way down. Nice and easy. So all the tools are off now as well. We've got a nice clear bed ready for Jordan to go and get some tarmac. We've got some bits and bobs here. So we've got the brake off, obviously petrols, bucket of tools. You always need a good bucket of tools. And first job of the day is going to be steel sawing a channel. So we know exactly where this fresh tarmac is going to be going from. It's going to be pretty much here, angled, pretty much over there at an angle. And once we've done that, we'll start catching up and we'll start breaking out this.
have it almost pretty tight now. Just need to probably break down the side there because those curbs are quite deep and are quite hard still. Can't really get them out with the uh, pick at the minute. I'll probably use a breaker all the way down there, shovel a little channel, and we'll be able to knock those curbs out of the way. That one's staying, but these ones here are all coming out now, guys. A bit of on the fly maintenance. For some reason, the, uh, the handle won't go down on the right hand side now. I'm not sure why. What we could really do with it because it's some hard concrete holding these curbs in as you can imagine and they're quite deep so hopefully we can fix it so it looks like this little sucker here has worked its way out of that hole should be in there a little bit further worked its way out at least it's getting fixed There's a depth for those curbs. I think with a big kick or with Four's hammer, which is this one here, big bertha as my dad likes to call her. I say Four's hammer, but Charlie says I can't say four. You spell four, T-H-O-R or F-O-R or F-O-U-R. And apparently I say them all the same. Charlie says they're supposed to sound different. Am I saying it wrong? Four for the Avenger, number four. Sound the same? Sounds the same to me, but everyone sounds the same to me. So there's the big bad boys. And let me tell you, they're not light. Put some worm friends on there as well. Look at the difference in thickness. You see them? Of course, they're sticking out the ground. And these ones there, they sit in flush with the ground like them. Quite a difference. They're still ever, but they're bloody ever. So putting a drop one in now guys, this will be the start of a crossing, give them plenty of access to get on that drive. Normally guys we'd have a little, uh, little grab machine like what we've used for pallets before to get these in, but we ain't got it now, so uh, it's going to be awkward. Top. So they're not too difficult to do these curves but if you fancy a drop curb at your own ass don't go doing it by yourself you need some permits and uh, council's permission so uh, don't become a diy doing your own drop crossing just yet first one in
Not too shabby so far. Will the curb fit? That is the question. Loads of room. Loads of room. So what we do now guys, dad ties that curb into that curb and then he'll shunt a few of these curbs up so there'll be even gaps all the way you see. So you don't have a little off cut of a curb, you never ever want that. We'll just shunt them up a bit, create a little gap, make it nice and even and that'll be pretty much ready for some time mate. Well, he says, this is in the way right? Pretty even, right guys? Now we're just pretty much waiting for Jordan to get back so we can get rid of this as well. Put that into the corner where we were throwing it on the grab. And obviously Jordan's gone to go get the tarmac. Jordan's back. He's going to get rid of these curbs here. So then guys, what you saw us messing about with was some extra concrete that we needed to get out of the way. You can actually see it up there at the minute. And bear in mind, that won't stay like that. When the tarmac's out of the way, all that get moved out of the way. So it's nice and safe. Now it's about raking it up, making sure that the levels are nice and okay, making sure that everything's below. Whack a plate it down, make sure it's compacted, and then we'll start tarmacking. It's tarmac in time. So this is the base guys. It's gonna be wacker plated, so it's gonna drop down a little bit more. And then obviously we'll go over it again to give it the nice finish up to the edges. Sort of like what it is now into the curb, but this is all gonna be wackered down. So when we put it on again, it'll be slightly higher. And then when it whacks down, it'll be the full perfect level for the curb and the drive. Looks quite easy to do though, don't it? But you gotta work fast because it's hot and it dries very fast. You can see the steam there, can't you? very very hot so be careful if you ever are using it well if you are using it i guess you already know that but uh, yeah coming along so we're using the roller on this one you can use that because that's a big boy whacker plate but that isn't a small one that we've also got that's a big boy one but we've also got a roller for anyone interested another big boy roller this actually needs a name as well who wants to give this a name let us know in the comments down below what can this one be called Yeah. <laughs> 
there we have it, the completed drop crossing, vehicle access. So summarise, what have we done? We've removed the existing tarmac and the existing curbs. We've moved the taper from that one to that one. It's a new taper and then we put 465 curbs in. Then what did we do? We backfilled with concrete and cement a fast set down the back of the curbs. There was a channel, a concrete channel running across there, which covered a duct that had to come out. Then the first port of call was the base. Now the base course is, it was six mil. We used six mil. The council in Nottingham let you do that. So we double sixed it. That's what it's called. But normally you can use a 20 mil binding base. It's open course, which knits to the top course. So we put the base course down, which was a six mil. We regulated that, fill on all the hollers and everything else all the way along, rolled that. You let that go off, you leave about 20 mil down and then you put the wearing course on. The wearing course is a six mil wearing course. You rake that all the way along and you leave that up 20 mil for compaction. Once we'd done that and then we was happy with it, we rolled it. You trap it in with the roller so you give it a couple of passes first, trap it all in, make sure you're happy with it, and then you vibrate on the way back. Go forward, vibrate on the way back. That's what we did, and that compacts it good enough. You can do it with a whacker. A lot of you have commented before about me using a whacker. Ideally, it makes a lovely job when you roll it, but it's not always possible to bring the roller with us. But that's it, that completes the job. Nice, easy one. Now this customer can use the full drive. I'll pass you back to Steve. So then guys, I hope you've enjoyed that drop crossing, something a little bit different from the fences and the landscaping. Yes, we do do drop crossings, if you've only just realized. Um, like I say, something a little bit different. We're off to go and get a bag round the corner now, a ton bag. We've, we've barely got enough room, not weight-wise, but room, but we're gonna try and get it on, seeing as we're around the corner. So we'll take you along for that, and I think that may be coming up to the end of the video. We might throw a cheeky Q&A in there at the end, I'm not too sure, but I'll keep you updated. So here we are. Just this bag here, just gonna stretch over, just have to have this kind lady. Just pull back a little bit, otherwise we would have never got this bag. You know how we do it. There she is, fitting pretty. We've got a treat for you guys. Obviously we've got some tarmac in left and look what needs tarmac in. We told you it was gonna get tarmac, so we're gonna tarmac it now. Enjoy the treat. Look at that guys. Can you see that it all flows into the drain? Perfect all. Couple more barrows over here, guys. Same principle as the drop crossing. Leave around about 20 mil, around the edgings, so you can build back up to it. You've got your base coat there. Now we've got the finer stuff right here, and it's all gonna drain into that drain. Good stuff. And we've got some left, so we're building a bit of a ramp here, so it's easier to get on without crumbling the concrete in the likes of like the tele truck, the JCB, which we're still deciding the name for and Little Red. So I want to say a massive thank you for everyone that got involved in the interaction of naming the machinery. Some people did it on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, so we very much appreciate that. That's what it's all about. When we ask for the interaction, it means so much when we get it, so I appreciate that, guys. That's that old tarmac now then guys. You've got that bit where the drain was that we needed to get done. And then you've also got a little ramp. There's gonna be a lot more tarmac going there where that ramp is, for, but for the time being, it's better than nothing, right? Obviously, otherwise we had a four or five inch difference in drop. 
and it was hard to get the JCB telly truck or little red up there. Hence why there was that mud pile just there. Scrape that out with a grab and now there's a little bit of time out here. I'll show you that when we get back before we finish this video because we are off to the landscaping job that you may have already seen by now. I believe you would have. It's halfway through the week and that's where we're off to now. So I'm gonna continue filming for that and we will catch back up later on to sign this video out. So that's it guys, we've just come back from that landscaping job. I know I didn't show you guys anything because this was more of a drop crossing in a tarmac. From me, my dad, Jamie and Jordan in the background, it's another day at D&J. We'll see you guys in the next one.